And it was double celebration at Ubuluno and Nyocha South local government area when the traditional ruler Obiki Kachuku led his subjects to celebrate the 2021 Ine Festival and the Iwaji Festival in his kingdom. The report. <laughs> Obiki Kachuku began the celebration with the cotton of the new yam, which is the Iwaji, signaling the commencement of the eating of the new yam in Ubuluno. <laughs> Indigents of the community at home and abroad gathered at the palace premises for the celebration with dances and various displays. They cheered their king, who demonstrated a royal entrance into the arena with his wives leading the Unyobi wives of the royal family to meet him. <laughs> Leaders and elders within and outside the community paid homage to the Buluno king. A motorcade that heightened the tempo of jubilation and saw both the young and old chanting accolades heralded the arrival of an indigenous of Ubuluno and general overseer of the Voice of Peace Miracle Ministry International, also known as Ayakata, the Calamity Stopper, who also paid homage to the king. The king, flanked by his wives, later led his people in a dance round the community, stopping at strategic points to perform rituals according to the tradition. In an interview, Obiki Kachuku said the celebration, which started centuries ago, was to offer thanks to God for a bountiful harvest in the last farming season and pray to God for better harvest in the next farming season. Use it to show peace and history because some of our children, like some of them that came from the diaspora, we don't actually know what we are celebrating. So you use the occasion to tell them that this community has a history. The history is what we are celebrating. The traditional ruler of Ashama, Eze Chinyelugo II, and his counterpart in Abaono, Madwabu Nachuku II, among other notable indigents, urged the people to maintain peace and unity in the community. For people to always embrace tradition, okay, anywhere they are, be it in Nigeria, be it in diaspora, okay, practice your tradition there. That's all. High point of the event was the performing of the traditional rites at the palace and prayers for the people by Obiki Kachuku to signify the end of the celebration. Eunice Meyesia reporting.